Welcome to Murray Mysteries. This is a follow-up to yesterday's memorandum. As expected, Jonathan didn't manage to fall asleep until sunrise. Between the women waiting outside and the fear what's left of my friend's humanity could slip away at any moment, I didn't get any sleep either. The women left half an hour before dawn, which means we're close enough to the castle for them to have reached it before sunrise. I waited another hour, then left Jonathan sleeping in the car and went after them. They should be sleeping soundly by the time I get to the castle. If not, well, that'll make my task slightly more complicated. This forest is quite charming by day. One could almost forget they're here to kill vampires and imagine they're simply on a refreshing nature walk. Maybe I'll come back here when it's all over. Pick mushrooms and wildflowers, sleep in an historic inn, and talk folk tales with the locals. Maybe I'll bring my friends. We'll get adjacent rooms play board games and talk until one of us falls asleep at the table. Jonathan will try to eat at every restaurant we pass. Quincy will drag us on hikes none of us can keep up with. Mina will stop at every bookstore, and Art and Jane will let their connection bloom without the constant threat of imminent death hanging over their heads. Yes. I think I'd like that. A quiet moment. The six of us. And peace. Well, here I am. Much less intimidating than I had imagined in this light. They'll be in the chapel. Three graves, three women. I almost feel bad. They never asked for any of this, but it's too late now. They can't go back, and neither can I. Someone has to do it, and I'm glad it's me. The others have been through enough. They're so young. <laughs> that girl was young too. Like Lucy. Or Jonathan. All of them. They had a life. A future. People who loved them. They deserved all of it. Not this. It has to stop. He has to be stopped. Whatever it takes. I wish I knew your names. Maybe now you can rest in peace. <laughs> uh. 
There it is. His resting place. Not anymore. If we can't kill him, we can at least make sure he has nowhere left to go. Holy water in the dirt, a crucifix here. Puzzle piece for Mina, compass for Jonathan, horseshoe for Quincy, a ring for Art, and Jane's favorite fountain pen. There. This place isn't his anymore. It's ours. Right. Now to guard the entrances. Then back to Jonathan. It's almost time. Murray Mysteries is a Nove storytelling production. This episode was written and produced by May Tudyk and featured Rebecca Kraus as Professor Van Helsing. Original music by Sophie Kay. If you like our work and would like to support us, you can sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Nove storytelling or follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr. Thank you for listening.